Tim Transcriber has been notified that he has been assigned a turn from project owner Remarkable Reporting in the Creating an Assignment Turn tutorial video. Let's click on that notification. A single click will automatically highlight the Project tab, select the subject project, highlight the Turns subtab for the project, and list all turns that have been created by the project owner, including Tim's. Another way to access the list of turns is to select any turn listed on the dashboard. We'll select Tim's turn to open it. Imagining that you are Tim, you can now start working on the turn by clicking the Download Audio button. This will automatically package all of the recordings associated with the turn into a single zip file and download them. The files can then be extracted to a preferred folder on your computer. You can also select the Content sub-tab to locate and download any other files that might be required to work on the turn, such as log notes, steno notes, transcript templates, and court documents. The Record Exchange provides the ability to discuss the project and collaborate with other members working on it, including the project owner. This allows the sharing of pertinent details and data in real time. To the right of the Content and Turn subtabs are the Discuss and Collaborate subtabs. Selecting the Discuss subtab displays the project-specific discussion area, where you and other members of the team working on the project can post questions and comments related to the project, and all members can see the posts and respond to them. For example, you might need to know the spelling of a witness's name who had testified the day before. You can enter the question here. The project owner, the proofreader, and the other transcribers receive the notification email and an alert in their accounts. Any of them can select it and are taken directly to the project's discussion board on the Discuss subtab. There, they can view the question and respond. Here, we're acting as the project owner, so we'll enter the response, which will be viewable by all members of the project. Earlier, we mentioned the Collaborate subtab, used to store specific matter data members will need to complete their assigned turns. Notice that this response includes a note that the testifying person's name has also been added there. There are five fields on the Collaborate subtab that can accept data, including Judge, Witness List, Attorneys, Spellings, and Exhibits List. Much of this information was already entered when the project was created but we can still add the new name in the witness list. We just select the Edit button, which opens the Collaborate data entry form. We can now add the new name to the witness list and select Save. Now let's switch back to the Transcriber's account. As Tim Transcriber, we can see that there are two new notification alerts, alerting us that both the Discuss and Collaborate subtab information has been updated. Selecting the one regarding the Collaborate information displays the Collaborate tab for the subject project along with the new information entered by the project owner. We can also either select the second alert regarding the discussion board, or we can select the Discuss subtab, since we're already in the same project. Either action will display the Discuss subtab, which includes the response to the previous question from the transcriber. Congratulations! You now know how to work on a turn and discuss and collaborate with other project team members. You are now ready to move on to uploading the finished turn transcript and completing the turn.